Hi everybody, it's Sam and Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a large rocker card. Now I've made one of these before, um, slightly different, um, and I will share the link to that one now. Um, this one is more of a simplified version again. Um, these are very, very easy to make, but they have such a good effect, and then they just rock. So it's really, like I said, dead easy to make. You just need to kind of make sure you've got things balanced so that when it stops rocking, it doesn't go off to one side like that. <laughs> Other than that, you can do whatever you want on them. Um, so I'll show you the papers that I'm using in a minute, but I've made the rosettes, just covered it in sequins. I've got a nice little bow here. I've used some glossy accents here just to make that happy, look more like an embellishment. I've got little puffy stickers there for the bunting and then you just open it up and you write your sentiment inside. I do need to stamp there as well, um, but I'll do that on another time when I know what I want to do. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. And I've made a nice big envelope for it as well, so everything matches really nicely. So the papers I'm using today are these really fun ones by First Edition, and this is Beach Life by Hell's Couple Ditch, and she's done some amazing um, papers um, for Trimcraft. So yeah, these ones are lovely. Lots of glittered ones, you get four glittered designs, um, and it's just really nice. I made my screen fold card using papers from this as well, which you can find amongst all my tutorials. So um, just to give you a little, I mean, look at that one there. Can you see all the shimmer on it? And that's all your icicle, popsicles even, and ice cream and all that kind of lovely stuff. Really fun little critters on the beach. Just some nice like um, beach hut kind of texture there. You've got the one with the shells, polka dots, more little critters on there, uh, deck chairs. This one is the one that I used for the background behind the happy birthday there. Um, and the polka dot I used and that green that I showed you before and you've got buckets and spades more beach huts and this one again is really really cool and that's all the rubber rings there so some really really fun great for the holiday season now um, especially if you're into doing scrapbooks these would make perfect um, scrapbook layout um, papers for your days at the beach and on holidays and stuff Okay, so what you are going to need, now I've got this gadget which I've not used in a tutorial yet. My mum would be pleased that I'm using this because we both got it at the same time. But it just, um, I know I've got my cutting system, the X-Cut cutting system which I've used a lot and I still love that. But this is good um, to do even more, um, a, a multiple of sizes. So um, you with the cutting system you're limited to the circles that they give you, the inside and the outside of the three sets. Um, whereas with this one, you've got literally as much as you want there. Now, what this means here, so you've got four, six, eight, 10, 12. That four inches is the whole circle diameter. It's not four inches from the middle here. You've got a half it, so that's two. From this middle point to here, it's two. And then again, you just undo it. I think I've still got it, yeah. You bring it up to six, then that's three inches from the middle outwards. Okay, so just a few things there just to kind of get used to, but I'm gonna set mine at eight, because I'm gonna do an eight inch um, diameter circle. So you just pop it in place and you screw that in so it doesn't move now, it's solid. There's a little guard on the back, so you just clip that off. And then you just basically wanna put this Kind of roughly and I just kind of hover it over making sure that it's going to fit my circle's going to fit now I know that this is eight and a half or eight and a quarter so I know it will but I'm going to just pop it down like so push it down so the blade goes in I'm on a cutting mat here as well so make sure your surface is cutting friendly then you put your pressure in the middle here to keep it in place and then you just hold this piece and you just bring it around now you can make this card without this, so you don't need to have this, just grab a plate or any of those other circles from the cutting system because, let me grab the circle from this one. So these are the cutting systems that I've got. Um, and these are by X-Cut. I can't find my other circle. I've got them all, but um, there's a bigger one than that again. I don't know where it is, but um, 
again you could just have it that size because basically this cutting piece is on the outside so once you see what I'm doing you can have this any size you want it doesn't have to be this this big at all but I do like a nice big card so there straight away I've got a perfect eight inch circumference circle so yeah really really good so that's the base that we're starting with there and then basically all you want to do is just fold it in half like so and then just grab your bone folder and just tidy up that score line so there is the rocker so now you can decorate that entirely how you want but like I said just make sure you balance out everything so that it doesn't tip more to one side than the other so that's that piece in place then I want to cut um, my pattern paper so for this one I'm going to go for this stripe which is from the pack now I'm going to I want a nice border so you can see here I've got this quarter inch border so I'm just coming down now I'm going to unscrew this and just come down now to a quarter of an inch down from the eight there so it's so it'd be seven I'm putting it now at seven and a half because you've got six there and then there's a gap so that would be where seven is and then it's halfway again there so that's seven and a half so again because I don't want to waste any paper I'm just going to hover it over and make sure I can get it that's about right and then again just hold make sure that you do not let it lift from the middle because then you'll get that perfect circle so there we go okay so really really quick so now I'm going to be cutting this in half and it's going to sit over there and let you just get a perfect border um, so that's really really good so I'm just going to fold this one in half because it's stripes I can just make sure my stripes are nice and lined up which they are like so oh, a little bit crooked hang on let's, let's redo that one a little bit better there just because it will bug me otherwise Let's just bring that one around a bit more. And then there we go, that's better. I can live with that now. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to cut that. So you don't have to fold it like I just did. You can just cut straight down. But I'm going to cut along my score line like so. So just cut down. Remove any of the bulk. So I'm actually going to remove from both sides so you can see that I'm just cutting so it's, it's a lot more um, there's not so much precision with this because you can do any size you want so I'm not really giving that many measurements as such because you know everybody's is going to be different just grab all different size dinner plates and um, and kind of cut those all out but I've gone really off there haven't I probably should have put this through my trimmer actually Let's just go and take a bit more off. This one's going to go on the back, so it won't matter too much. There we go. That's better. So now, this one is going to go on the front. So you can see there, you get a really nice border. And then this one's going to go on the back and look just as good. So get those two stuck down. Okay, so those two sides are now all stuck down, so that's that bit done. Next you want to do your um, circles for the kind of middle, your main kind of focus, focal, focus, I don't know what I was trying to say there, your main focal point. So this circle here is six, so I need to grab some white card. All the measurements for this one will be in my blog, so um, don't worry, but um see once you you know what I'm doing now you don't have to have a six there you don't even have to have a circle you could have squares in the middle so it's entirely up to you and if you look at my other one that I've got that I've done as well that's um gives you another look so I'm just now setting this to the six because I know I want a six inch um, diameter circle and again just going to kind of roughly make sure I can get it I'm not using too, losing too much paper. I could have gone in even more then, never mind. And it literally is perfect. It gets, you know, the join there is so good. So that's that one. And then while I'm here, I'm going to do that other white circle that I've got here, which is 
I'm lining it up with the, the folded part here and then I know that I'm getting the, the centre point of that circle. So that's four and a half. So just come in there just at four and a half. And I might be able to get this one on here. So that's my two white ones. Then I need to decide on, so what pattern, let's have a look. So I'm gonna have that one sat on there. And then I'm gonna go for, I think, the green. Yeah, let's have the green. So now I need a piece of five and a half. So again, just move this one back up again. So five and a half. So the five isn't marked there, but it goes up four, six, so you know halfway is five, and then half again is half of that. So it's very inexpensive as well. So it's just another useful um, piece to have in your kit. An X cut do do really good um, tools. I've never had any problems with them. That's my um, corner punch, that's X cut. I love this. It does need sharpening, mind you, but I have <laughs> I've had it a long, long time. So that's that one. So that's going to go in there, like so. That's going to go on there. I can just line all the lines up, making sure it's all nice and straight. And then I think. Think. I'm trying to use the bits of the scraps from the one before. I don't know whether I go for a polka dot with this one or cut out more. I think I'll do that one again, actually do the same because I did it. Mind you though, hmm, you want it a bit different. I do like that polka dot. Let's see if I can do the polka dot actually. Um, so this one is four. So it's the very, very last one. That is the thing, you can only do as small as a four inch um, diameter one. So um, anything smaller, you would just want to use your dies, your nest of dies and things like that. So this one, I should be able to get in here. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we've got that one, it's going on there, and then we've got that one, and then that one's going in there. Yeah, I think that looks really fun. So you now want to get this one stuck onto there, this one stuck onto there, and then that stuck onto there, all in place, and then I'll show you in a minute when we stick that down. Okay, so that's now all stuck down, and then you need to stick it down on here. Now, to fit it in the envelope that I will show you at the end, you need to sit it in the same as I tell you now. But if you want to go smaller, then you can just bring it down, obviously, and if you're doing a smaller, if your base card, so this is obviously eight diameter, yours might be six, so you'll be able to use your envelope scoreboard for that one. This one was too big, so I had to make my own. So, um, but I will talk you through that. So for this one here, you want to make sure, I think it was seven was my, type, yeah, seven. So basically, you just want to make sure you've got the nice even um, border make sure I've got my lines all straight there as well and then you want it to be no taller than seven inches so there we go that's perfect so it's just on for me it's just on that blue line slightly just above it so then what I'm going to do is just on half of it you don't need to go be too careful you see that I've just splotched it don't have to worry too much just above that blue make sure my green lines are all nice and straight with this so this paper is quite good to keep it in line make sure this is all the same and just stick that one down obviously if you're going to stamp it and stuff then you'll want to do that whilst this piece is flat pop it in your stamp positioner I've got some mucky I have to get my rubber out for that I don't know where that's come from but there you go so there is already a really fun really colorful these papers are so fun and the back looks really nice as well I mean you could obviously put more circles on there if you wanted to but I'm not too worried about that but now that stands up perfectly now in the one that I show you um, that I done near the beginning of the year I put a piece in here to stop it splitting open but that's because it's a slightly different structure with this one you don't need to it literally it stands up even if you're going to put loads of stuff on that it will still stand up as long as you make sure you burnish that score line really well okay 
So now the fun of decorating. So I am going to make some rosettes. I'm going to do them off camera because I've done loads of these and I'll share the links to my tutorials to show you how to make the rosettes. But just so you know, these are a two inch rosette there and a one inch. So you'll need to cut a strip that's half an inch by 12 and for this one that's one inch by 12. Okay, again, I'll put that in my blog, but in terms of showing you, I will um, just show you the little tutorial will be up here now um, and just pop to that and that'll show you how to make an easy rosette. Then um, I have already stamped a um, happy birthday. This is a Dovecraft happy birthday. It's a huge one. Um, I stamped it onto white. It actually comes together like that, but then I've gone and fussy cut all around the birthday and the happy separately. And then what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to stick this on top of the green. Okay. And I'm going to fussy cut it again so it kind of pops out. I mean, it does lift against that pink, but I think with the green around it um, will just help it a bit more. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to get the rosettes done and then we can finish off with the sequins and the other nice little stickers and stuff. Okay, so I've made my two really dinky rosettes. I should also mention that you score at every quarter of an inch along the 12 inch side. So this one here, like I said, is one, a strip of one inch by 12 inches. Score along the 12 inch at every quarter of an inch. And then this one is half an, an inch by 12 inches, scoring again at every half, every quarter of an inch. So those are going to go just the same as before, like so. And then I'm going to have my birthday. So I've just popped it on green, the same green there, and I've fussy cut that. Now what I'm going to do with this one that I didn't do with this one is I'm going to pop this on some foam backing. Just because this has got dimension, I thought the back then was too flat, but I'd already stuck it down by that point. So it's still fine. It's, it's me more than anything. The person that gets it wouldn't think that at all. But... Um, us card makers, we pick these things up, don't we, and uh, wish we'd done them differently. So I'm just popping a few little dots on that one there. I've got mine in line with the this kind of uh, the fold there of the base. So there we go. So I think now, me looking at it, it does look better, and you can see there just now how that's lifted off. It does look much, much, much better. So I'm going to stick this one. Just going to pop some hot glue on the back there, and have that one there. And again, pop that one just over there, and just make sure that when you pop it up, it doesn't obviously rock too much to one side than the other and then that piece again I'm going to just pop on a bit of cut the top off here always use every part of these um, dimensional packs even the uh, the frame of them because obviously you don't see any of this so that one is going to go on an angle about there okay so you can see now how that is looking really cool. So I have then got, these are the puppy stickers. So these are the little bunting ones. And then I've got these stickers as well. So I've popped stickers over the top here. So I'll do those in a minute. I'm gonna do my bunting first. So again, if you've got a bunting die or you can just cut lots of little triangles. Um, so there's, there's lots of ways to be able to adapt and make this card without having the exact bits that I have but I'm just going to start laying down my bits here and it's just nice little um, bits of interest um, on your card so that one's not going to meet. I've done it a little bit differently this time. It's fine. It's still okay. There you go. So I've got that little bit there. And it's these bits that just pull it all together. Like I say, it's all the accessories that make it make it a lovely card. So what have I got here? Let's have a look. Um, so I'm going to put the Just For You one again there. I'm going to put a bit of hot glue on the back of that as well. Just some of the stickers, they're not 
they, they will end up coming off so I'm just going to use the hot glue get rid of all of those in a minute and then I just need some kind of see I, mm, I don't really want the crab see I used the bird there on the ball oh they've got the same there there we go let's use that again because I did like that oh I need to die cut another circle so I just had my um, smallest find where I've put it I seem to have lost that one the smallest circle from my nest of circle dies oh my gosh you won't believe how long it took me to find that <laughs> and it was under my cutting mat that's so frustrating so I'm just going to cut that tiny one out in just a scrap piece of the um, same papers that I've been using just to sit over that rosette just to hide the, the glue there So again, just grab my hot glue, pop a little bit there in the middle, like so, and then grab that bird, and again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of hot glue. I've only got, I'm only using the hot glue because I've got it out, you can use any glue. And I've got it slightly off, off centre a little bit like so. Then I've got my bow, so this one is going, so I could now have that one there on that side just to cover where I didn't join it, so I think I'm going to pop that one slightly different. See there's always ways to kind of doctor any bits that may have gone wrong, so I'll pop that one there. And now the fun part of decorating with the sequins and the Nouveau drops. So I have got the um, White Blizzard, I've got um, Bubblegum Blush and I've also got Glossy Accents. I might not use that this time because it didn't make, it is nice but it didn't make too much difference. It is on the happy there. If anything it's made it a little bit duller so I'm probably not going to use that one. But with these ones and the sequins, so I've just got a mix here of um, these pink, lovely pink ones, took a few of those, and these clear ones as well. And basically I'm going to do my sequins first, so I'm going to use my Tombow glue, and you can see how I've done them, I've just done a little kind of trail of them there and again there, so I'm going to stick, stick with the same and just randomly blob some glue and then pop them down with the tweezers and just kind of I've done them quite randomly some of them are overhanging they're on the white part as well as the pattern part and then the gaps I'm going to fill in with the Nouveau drops so let's use that one there so I'm just going to go ahead now and get this all filled up Okay, that's all the sequins down, and try and work in odd numbers, so I've got, what have I got there, seven on that side and five on that side, um, it just makes, it, it works better, um, I don't know the reason, but it just does, <laughs> so, um, and then I'm just going to fill in now with the um, glittery one here, so I've got literally just different sizes, just kind of lift it off, some are bigger than others, I'm going to do one on there, quite a big one, and then, okay, so if I just bring this up, you can see now, I've gone completely over the top, and it looks brilliant, <laughs> that's my style, so I'm going to let that dry now and show you how to make the envelope, and you'll be able to see that really close up with the pictures, but these are really fun, they're just happy, colourful cards, I think they look great, so I'm just going to pop that one, let me just Put that somewhere safe for the minute so it dries flat. So for the envelope you need a piece of 12 by 12 so I'm going to pull out that same polka dot one. I don't not like it, I just don't, I don't know, I think it's better for an envelope. All the rest of them are too nice but this one, I'd say it's my least favourite so it worked well for an envelope. So just grab that one and then with your, still use your envelope punch board but you have to kind of doctor it a little bit. So grab a ruler, and what you're going to do is you need to score this one 
at one, two, three, four. It's going to be, although it says five there, that's one inch, two inch, three inch, four inches. You then want to do four and three quarters. So then pop your ruler right up to the edge here and come down to four and three quarters and line up the four and three quarters with the one. Okay, so now we know that that is that three quarter bit there. It's just because obviously it goes off, we can't do it. So I've got this lined up at four and three quarters and then I can just pop that one in there and where did I put my little, lost my little thing so I'm just using my other stylus and then just score along the score line that's there. Flip it right the way round and pop it in again at four and three quarters. So I'm just popping my ruler up there and line it all up. If it's a little bit out, it's not going to make too much of a difference. And then score. And then all you've got to do is line up that score line there with this here. So it's a little bit harder to do. But again, just bring your ruler in like so. And then I know that that's in place. And then this score line will meet perfectly with that corner so I know I've done it right and then rotate the whole thing round again and with your ruler, the ruler is just the extension really because the paper's obviously big and we're going off the the measurements that they actually give us Okay, and then again punch and score so again it all meets up nicely there so yeah just another way you can still use it even for even bigger um, envelopes so then all you've got to do is just burnish and just kind of help it along because we couldn't score right to the end. You can see there where the score line doesn't finish because obviously the paper's just so big. The newer one now has an extension arm on it um, for the 12 by 12, so I should get that really, because I know I use it a lot. Okay, and then pop in your sides. I'm gonna use my red tape here. Okay, take off both the backings stick them in the middle and then just bring up the bottom. Again, just go and burnish all your score lines there once it's all folded in its shape. And then that final one, I'm just gonna round off the edges there and then just cut a little piece just to seal it up. Okay, there you go. So I'm not going to use the one that I've got because obviously it's um, still drying, but you can see there how that fits perfectly inside. Just pop it on a slight angle and it is good to go. So that's that one. That's the other envelope that obviously is for that one and I'll bring this one back in again and you can see it there. So yeah, really nice. I do like a rocker card. I think it's got a really fun, dead easy to make. Like you could see the, the beginning, the actual base is, is so easy. The time really was just spent on me going over the top of the decoration. So yeah, <laughs> hope you like it. Um, if you do, please give me a thumbs up as always and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.